everybody. Welcome to our very first Mythic Games newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and we're going to be taking a look at the company news and Kickstarter updates together uh, in this new series that we're starting. This will be replacing our regular What's Up Wednesdays uh, updates, uh, but you're still going to be getting all the information that you would normally be getting in What's Up Wednesday. Uh, we're just going to have a little bit more of an informal uh, newscast here so that we can get you that information in a little bit of a slimmer format. Uh, but all that same information is going to come out there to you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Our biggest news of the week this week is that we've started Steam Watchers. Uh, we just launched this Kickstarter yesterday and we have already funded yesterday, uh, but we of course want you guys to spread the word and uh, continue getting other people to join in this so that we can make Steam Watchers the best possible endeavor that we can. Now, Steam Watchers is a two to five player area control resource management game that has miniatures, variable player powers, variable setup, just a lot of really cool stuff that's going on here and the theme rocks. Um, and so you can check that out on our uh, Kickstarter page and check it out. We have three different support levels that you can go here. We have an $89 level, which is simply just the core box and all of the unlocked gifts that we get you. Uh, then we also have $149, which is going to be the core box. Uh, there's going to be three, three expansions that are going to be part of the Kickstarter as well. You'll get all of those and you'll also get all of the unlock stuff with that. And then there is an all in for $169. That's going to get you everything that the $149 got you plus a neoprene stitched mat uh, that you know and like. So basically that's going to give you um, a great number of hours of enjoyment. This is a superb game and so check it out and see what you think but that is uh, our biggest news of the week steam watchers on kickstarter live right now go check it out moving on to the rest of our line of games uh first off we have solomon kane wave one uh which is in queue right behind super fantasy brawl right now but it is actually entering uh the very first stage of printing which is where we ask for what are called white samples and basically these are just uh samples that are going to show us how all of the final components components are going to look um, uh, and it's basically the first step in that printing process. Uh, so we're going to be able to check the final material quality uh, and all of that kind of stuff with Solomon Kane Wave 1. So uh, for those of you who are waiting for news, here it is. <laughs> we are getting it. It's there. It's ready to go. Uh, as soon as Super Fantasy Brawl rolls off the presses, Solomon Came Way 1 is going to go uh, on full force. So be on the lookout for that. We also have some good news for Reichbusters. Reichbusters, uh, our stock has reached its hub in Asia. And our partners there are, are starting the process of sorting it all out so we can get that to you guys in Asia. Uh, the coronavirus has... Uh, put a little bit of a kink in that, but the wheels are rolling. So just hold your hold on for a little while longer. It's on the way. Uh, in other parts of the world, first of all, we have our European ship is going is due to land in Antwerp um, on March 9th. So there's that. Our U.S. ship is due to land in Jacksonville on March 4th. And our Australian ship, by schedule, was supposed to land yesterday in Adelaide. So uh, everything seems to be going on schedule, and uh, everything is uh, rifling down the path there. So good news for Reichbusters, it's almost there. So uh, keep your eyes open for those uh, shipment notifications in emails. Super Fantasy Brawl, I mentioned earlier, uh, is moving forward quite nicely, and there has been minimal effect from the coronavirus uh, debacle that's going on over there right now. Uh, so that's why it's still kind of moving pretty uh, smoothly. Finalizing the date for the street release is being discussed right now, and retailers in the U.S. can actually pre-order the game right now through GTS. So you can go on to GTS's dis. GTS Distribution's website and check that out. Uh, the release date will, of course, be after the fulfillment of the Kickstarter, and the retail edition will be different than the Kickstarter uh, edition was uh, and what the Kickstarter backers are going to be getting. So we'll have more information on that in the near future, so keep your eyes open 
for that. Moving on to Time of Legends, Joan of Arc 1.5. Uh, we have uh, the developers have been playtesting the Battle of Striva scenario. And I'm going to read part of this because I want you to get the, 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 the context of that. And it says, this is where the Teutonic Knights had to cross a frozen river to escape with their um, uh, loot, basically. Uh, so they also had to be fighting off the Lithuanian forces at the same time. So the Teutonic Knights on the left side of the board have to escort a wagon and escape by reaching the area marked with the red dot on the map. The Lithuanian army, however, is mostly made of ranged attackers that are trying to break the Teutonic formations uh, and generally harass them. The, the main idea of this scenario is that uh, tokens are located on the frozen river uh, and they are randomly set on the river areas and have a value going from three to five. And that represents how many units can be in that uh, area uh, during the course of the battle. Uh, so if more units than this number end up in the area, the excess units end up drowning and are forcefully disrupted, which is kind of unsettling, really. Uh, so the main mechanisms for this scenario for the Teutonic player is to find a secure route to leave the board, and the Lithuanians are simply trying to prevent that escape from happening. Uh, so uh, you're trying to, of course, as a Lithuanian player, exploit the weaknesses in the formation of the Teutonic Knights and push units into the ice with arrows uh, instead of just simply getting rid of them uh, outright. Uh, so that's a cool thing. Uh, so we're continuing to work on uh, 1.5. So again, we'll have more news later on with that as well. Coming to Enchanters East Quest, we uh, did a poll a couple of weeks ago and you guys voted that uh, for the order in which you wanted to uh, see the, the new kingdoms that are coming in East Quest. And so next up is the Samurai Kingdom. Now a samurai spends his life mastering a weapon, preparing for a fight that will either bring him the greatest honor or the most glorious death. The Samurai deck then features some very powerful monsters that don't actually move on the journey track. When they come up, they will take a place in the journey track and then everything else will be uh, moved to around it, basically. And then when all of the cards are out of the uh, journey track and the deck, those monsters will start moving towards the village. And uh, hopefully by that time, you will have accrued enough uh, strength in battle to take them out. But who knows, right? So the Samurai Kingdom is a pretty nasty deck. It's hard in and of itself to beat. So you may not want to use the event deck when you're using the Samurai. Um, it's a bad idea. It's probably going to make the game too hard. But hey, it's your game. You can do whatever you want, basically, but realize you've been warned, so do it at your own risk. And last but not least, Mythic Games was able to attend the International Games Festival in Cannes uh, recently, and we were able to demo Super Fantasy Brawl, Steam Watchers, and Enchanters, and the all three of them were met famously by our patrons. Uh, the booth was full the entire time, so we were very encouraged, very much uh, had a great time there in uh, Cannes, and we wanted to let you know that things went very well there. Uh, our Phoenix line premiered there with uh, Enchanters, and it was a great launch for that new line. So that's it from us for this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.